Hi folks, you want to do one of those cooler, more advanced shout outs that show your um, viewers, the person that you're shouting out's icon maybe on screen, something a little bit like uh, this, for example. Did I hit it? There it goes. Um, I, I figured out how to do it. It's not really my thing, but I wanted to share with you how you can set it up on your stream. Just one of those little tiny things that you can add to it. And that's what we'll be covering in today's video. Let's get started. Hi folks, welcome to our YouTube series. Here's where we look at anything we do to help improve your stream. Uh, whether it's going to be visual, audio, or brand, I am the, your man, the argument mock, your stream champ. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to set up a cool looking overlay. Um, now this hasn't been new, this has actually been out for quite some time, but there's been some updates and some actual kind of improvements, which is kind of cool. Um, I haven't really been using it on my stream, but it kind of came up the other day, so I decided to go ahead and incorporate it, because why not? Um, do me a favor though, help me out with a little bit of like love on this video. Subscribe to the YouTube side of things. If you haven't done so already, I also stream quite often on Twitch. I'll link all the descriptions and everything you'll need today um, in the description of the video. Uh, first and foremost though, this is not one of my, so I want to make sure we give credit to the creator as well. And I'll actually link his stuff down below because he's doing quite a few things to kind of help improve other people's streams as well. So make sure you're giving him some subscribes some follows some thumbs ups. And he also streams quite often on Twitch as well. So go give him some love on that format. Now that being said, let's jump right into our stream. Um, PC side of things, <laughs> stream PC side of things, so we can show you what we're talking about. All right, so we got ourselves a blank slate type thing happening. Um, now, uh, again, the creator, he's got his own YouTube. Make sure that you're following this guy. I'm sorry to sub to him. He's got his own Twitch. We're following to him right now, and he'll go through all the fun stuff for it and and stuff. And so if you if you don't like my video, you can go check out his videos because he does a really well, um, good job explaining everything. But I'll show you how to set it up as well. So anyways, um, so the first thing you need to do is go into um, Stream Elements. It's a widget tool for Stream Elements. You can actually go in and just search um, for awesome shout outs in the widgets and come across it. But I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description of the, the video, a one click installer. You can see I already have it installed right now and that's why I was able to fire one off, but we're gonna head and click that one click installer um, so we can just install it one more time for us. So go down the description of the video. There's one thing that says a one click installer, click that button. It's going to think it's going to do its thing. You'll have to log in probably at authenticate, make sure you're logged into stream elements and you're going to get that one click installer. So I'm just going to refresh this page and you should see that I've got number two popping up. And that's because I already had it installed once, but we'll, we'll work with this one right here. So I'm um, going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see, you can go ahead and edit this. Now stream elements takes a little bit of time to load and think and everything like that. So it's doing its thing. Uh, it has a little bit of description box in here on how to do the installation video. Um, so again, if I'm not covering everything and you need more information, check out that link. You'll see it all. This is the widget that we're worried about. It's pretty wide. It's pretty cool. If you highlight this box and go down here to the awesome shout out, you can see some of the settings that you'll need. So we have the general config under here. You can get the duration of how long it should show up on your screen. The command I has exclamation mark so to show uh, to show up. Now, by, uh, keep this in mind. This is only for showing the graphic on your screen. So if you want an actual clickable link to the person that you shouted out, you'll still need to do some sort of command, whether it's in stream elements or your bot or whatever, to pop up at the same time. So someone has a clickable link to go follow a person that you've uh, shouted out. So if you want me to do one of those videos on how to do an actual shout out link command, let me know in the comments. I'll go ahead and do a video like that. It's pretty easy to do. And I think most people have that, but this is just for the visual part of things. Okay, um, you can play a sound if you want. I have it set to do not play. Um, so you can kind of link it with some other stuff. You can even have like a video pop up now. Um, I believe this also works with uh, Facebook Live as well. So the general t uh, text, so that's the top of the text. Um, I have it set to, oh, this is apparently I clicked on my original because I have the best in blue. This will be like awesome in, in, in yellow. I think I clicked the other one, but these are the settings for the text. Um, and then it has settings for the top text. Yeah, this is the top text. And if you go, there's also general bottom text. So it has two text lines, the top and the bottom. I have the best home glitch and I have it to like a cyan. You'll need to copy this URL, save this guy, and then go into your OBS. 
Um, and then you'll need to make a new browser source. Um, you can make it like stream elements, shout out, whatever. Um, paste this guy in here. It's important that your width, it's really long. 1920 is kind of what that width uh, is on the other side because it's orientation is, is, is center. So I put the, the width at 1920 because that's as many pixels it was before. Um, and then that's pretty much all you need. So you hit OK. And now I have this red box browser source. I'm going to put it kind of mid screen here for us. I'll go into my chat as well. Again, I was kind of testing some stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and hit estimation mark shout out argument mock. And if I hit chat, it should pop up right in the middle. Okay. So that's pretty much it. How you get it all set up. Very easy to do. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me and I'll see you glitches on the next video. Be safe. Two, three, four, five, six.